We're at Armbrist Pro Gym. We are inside the leg room. And uh, of course, we're gonna hit some hamstrings and calves today. Uh, right here, I'm over at the standing calf raise uh, machine. We have two of them here where at Armbrust. Uh, one uh, by side and the other one by hamstring. This one in particular, um, unlike the other one, has the way out in front, and then they have this handle here and this one here, where I can switch this to this side, pull this one up, pull that one down, and then be able to work each leg independently. You'll, you guys will be able to see me uh, use this here in a second. Um, doing a couple warm-up sets because normally I don't use this particular uh, exercise on my first exercise. Normally I do like a lying leg curl. Um, but I wanted to switch things up today. I wanted to shock the muscle a little bit and uh, really wanted to isolate each leg independently before I went on and did uh, more uh, movements using both legs. So here we go. Okay, we just got done doing some lying leg curls. Now, I did this in a different variation where instead of kicking using my heels to get the weight up, I was actually pointing my toes. Uh, that enables a lot more stability behind the kneecap because you're getting that muscle, that hamstring all the way deep back there, which for me uh, helps out a lot for attending to a bad knee um, and for you know, really good hamstring sweep uh, when we hit our back and also side shots, especially in bodybuilding. Um, it's all about your hamstring sweep. Uh, it develops a lot of great tie-ins with the glutes and hamstring and calf. Everything has to flow correctly. Um, one thing I want you guys to try is to work on the eccentric movements. So what that means is working on the negative. So it's very, very easy to go up and down, up and down, up and down. The point I'm trying to make is when you go up, hold it, squeeze the muscle one to two seconds. And then as a finisher, as a finisher for this exercise, you want a second holds um, each rep. And that has me sweating, that has me pumped, has me ready to go off and do the next exercise. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit some seated leg curls now.
guys, that's it for today. Just got done doing some hamstrings and calves here at Brett Armbrust, uh, here in the leg room. Got a lot of volume done today. Uh, did a lot of eccentric movements, and that's where you do most of the negative. You focus in on the negative part. Now, we all know lifting, pulling in the positive range is easy. Sometimes it's difficult, but it's that negative. Being able to slow everything down. That's gonna get those other muscle fibers working as well. So you notice throughout this entire workout, we're trying to get some good holds anywhere from one second to even five second holds. And then moving on to some exercises, we came over to the calves. Now I know a lot of you guys are wondering if I was gonna do a whole array of calves. That'll be another time because honestly, this standing calf raise, if you're doing it this way on a plate loaded, doing 10 with holds and then 10 really fast, you do that like a good three to four, maybe even five working sets like that, you're gonna get some really good gains. Now I'm normally training legs twice a week, if not calves twice, if not three times a week. And that's because I'm only doing maybe one or two calf exercises. So that way I'm mastering the technique, the time and attention, just the overall balance of each machine. So until next time, seven time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. Thank you for watching Phil Heath TV.